we are in the third part of our seventh chapter of the media. In this part of the video, we will discuss about islands, about the rivers, about lakes, and the cave study of South India. It's a very small portion of our chapter. So here we will start with the first one that is islands. There are three group of islands are there in South America. It's a part of South America. The first one is you can see here the Falkland Island. The Falkland Island is in the south of South America. And this um, uh, uh, island is uh, about 300 miles away from south, southern tip or south portion of South America. And the next island is called the Galapagos Island. The Galapagos Island is 500 miles away from Ecuador and it is also a part of Ecuador. And the third one is Charada Fugo Island. This Charada Fugo Island is also considered as an archipelago. That means it is a group of islands. So these are the three important group of islands which is included in South America. So the first one is Parkland Island. Galapagos Island and the Gerardo Fugo Island. Now coming towards the second portion that is the rivers of South America. There are so many rivers are there in South America. The first one is Orinco River which is in the north, then Magdalena and Amazon River which is considered as the biggest or the uh, largest river in the world. According to the maximum or the water content, it is considered or the volume of water, it is the biggest river in the world and the second longest river after river Nile. And out of this river, river Parana, Paraguay, Uruguay, like that other three rivers are there, they are considered as or they are called as the La Prata river system. So this is about the rivers of uh, South America. And then coming towards the next one, lakes, there are many lakes are there in that. Lake Titicaca is the most important one. And it is not the second one, it is the biggest or the highest water uh, lake in the world. It is not the second highest, in your book it is given second, it is the, uh, it is not the second one, it is the highest lake in the world. The second highest is Lake Tanganyika, which is in Africa. So it is the first one, this one is the highest water or the highest lake in the world, Lake Titicaca. Now coming towards the next portion and the next portion is a case study. It is uh, about the people who live in the Amazon basin. We know that Amazon is, uh, is a, th a thick equatorial forest or it is a selvas. Selvas are thick equatorial forest and uh, their feature is that they, are, they experience a hot, humid climate throughout the year. So in, uh, in such a place it is difficult to live because it is uh, difficult to do agricultural activities undergrowth is there, thick uh, rivers are there, there are small water bodies are there and in such areas it is difficult to do agriculture. So those people who live there or we call them as the indigenous people, indigenous means the original natives of uh, South America. The people who live there or the tribes who live there are many in number. There are so many different tribes are there who live in this Amazon basin. And this people, they follow their own culture, their own tradition uh, and their own uh, dance, their singing, their life is like a people of hunter-gatherers. They are uh, usually called as a hunter-gatherer group because they cannot do agriculture. And it is also said that these people never settle in a particular place, they move their, uh, their place. That means after finishing the food and the um, uh, or uh, food and whatever, water or good water or whatever they can use from that place. After finishing that, they move to the next place. So they only, they only make temporary shifts and then they move from one place to another. And now their conditions uh, changed because uh, the government, the Brazilian government have played a good role in uh, bringing the Buddha. And in this group, Yanomani tribe is very important, is considered as the most important and the biggest tribe or in number this tribe is more and more. And another important thing which you have to understand and you have to remember is their religion. Their religion is called animism and this animism religion is a religion which worship nature. They worship the nature as their god. And this two things, the Yenomani tribe and this uh, um, animism is very important in this part. Now when we come to their uh, life, now how they live, they live a very good life. They accepted so many new things which is followed by the uh, so-called cultured people, they 
started using new type of dress they started uh, getting education and they uh, lived a good life now but still the government and the original people or the tribals they work hard to protect their culture tradition etc so here we wind up the first part of our video the second part will be a powerpoint presentation where all the explanations and the points are given in detail listen that carefully and study Let's continue with the islands of South America. Three important group of islands are there. The first one is an archipelago, that means a group of islands, which is in the south, that is Terra del Fuego Island. Then the next island is Falkland Island, that is also in the south. It is 300 miles away from the south. And the third one is Galapagos Island. So, we have already discussed about this three uh, group of island. Now, we will see in detail about all these three. Gerardal Fugo lies in the extreme south. It is separated by Magellan Strait. Very important. Gerardal Fugo and the mainland of South America is separated by a strait or water body called the Magellan Strait. Cape Horn in the Honos Island is the southernmost point of the continent. Chile and Argentina form part of this island. Falkland Island is a group of islands found about 300 miles away from the southern tip of South America. And this Falkland Island is in Atlantic Ocean. In Pacific Ocean, you can see Galapagos Island which is 500 miles away from Ecuador. It consists of 12 large islands which are home to giant tortoise and a variety of flora and fauna. So you can see here Falkland Island and uh, near uh, bottom of Chile you can see the um, islands which were that Magellan Strait is shown and along with that we can see the Terradal Fugo Island. Now this is Falkland Island little bit uh, a big one you can see some so many groups of islands are there big and small now Galapagos Island it is in the site in Pacific Ocean and it is at the side of uh, Ecuador and it is also a part of Ecuador Galapagos Island the next topic is rivers the Orinoco River is 2400 kilometer long it flows from Guana Highlands in Peninsula towards the Atlantic Ocean the river Magdalena in Colombia runs parallel to the mountains and drains towards the Caribbean Sea. Paraguay, Parana and Uruguay, they form the La Plata river system. They drain into the South Atlantic Ocean and they form a wide estuary. Now what is this estuary? It is a tidal mouth of a large river where the tide meets the stream. Or we can say that a fresh water, it's a meeting point of fresh water and salt water. You can see the estuary here. Estuary. Now the waterfalls on the Paraguay River. Now the next important point is about the Amazon River. It's a question answer which you have to learn. So uh, understand it properly. First point is, Amazon River rises in the snow-capped region of Andes in Peru and flows towards eastward through Brazil. It flows through Brazil. Second longest river in the world and it's about 6,400 km long. In terms of volume of water it carried, it is regarded as the largest river in the world. The uh, it's the second longest and the largest river. The longest one is Nile and this one is the second longest and the largest river. Now another important thing is there are freshwater lakes are there. Here you can see the Lake Titicaca. It is the world's highest freshwater lake. In your book it is given second. It is the highest freshwater lake. Like lake Tanganyika is the second one. This Titicaca is the highest freshwater lake in the world. It is situated in high plateau of Bolivia. So learn it as the highest freshwater lake in the world. It is not the second, it is the highest freshwater lake in the world. 
now here we'll wind up the physical features and about rivers lakes etc now there is a case study given about the life of amazon basin about a group of uh, people we can call them as the uh, tribals who live in the amazon basin so let's study about their lifestyle their culture their tradition etc so we'll start with the amazon basin the amazon basin is the part of south america drained by amazon river and its tributaries it is the largest river basin in the world covering more than one third of the entire continent it is one of the richest area of the world in animal and plant diversity it has hot wet and humid climate the reason is it is in the torrid zone so or it is an in the equatorial region so they experience a hot wet and humid climate so this is the condition of amazon basin now the lifestyle of the people of amazon basin at the amazon basin is also home to indigenous indigenous means the original natives of that place and the opposite of indigenous is foreign so i think you understood what is this indigenous indigenous means of people who belongs to that same place indigenous tribes that have lived here for more than thousands of years amazon tribes developed a hunter fruit gatherer culture people live in communal buildings in the forest and these buildings were built with bamboo covered in banana or palm leaf and straw each of the tribe has its own language and culture which include dance craft song and medicine now again the life of amazonians you can see their houses they it's like a temporary sheds they make they are the people who live by gathering and uh, uh, hunting so they never settle in a particular place they settle in a place and after some time they move to another place many tribes of amazon basin they believed in a religion called animism animism is a religion which respects nature and their main uh, what they worship the deities like um, uh, sun moon stars like that the forces of nature many of the tribes practice shifting cultivation and slash and burn type of agriculture that means shifting cultivation means they clear a land and then they uh, put the land into fire and uh, uh, that all the plants and whatever is there in that area will be burned and after that uh, that area will be full of ashes and then uh, they cultivate the land one or uh, once or twice or to, to, for maybe of two or three years they cultivate there and once the full fertility is extinct they or um, after finishing or uh, when they see that that area is not good for agriculture they leave the place and then they'll uh, uh, burn the next area so it is not a good method of doing agriculture but this people they use the slash and burn method for doing agriculture it is a primitive method of doing agriculture for clearing the forest and doing the agricultural activity there they also practiced hunting and fishing men women children all take part in fishing in the river next point is very important the yanomani tribe is the largest tribe in the amazon rainforest so which tribe is the largest one there are so many different ty types of tribes are there in the first when i have shown you some pictures it belongs to different groups and different tribes so uh, so many tribes are there in that yanomani tribe is one of the most important tribe brazil government has set up a type of reservation to protect the tribe of amazon or rainforest now the brazilian uh, government have uh, took so many steps to protect this group of tribes because they are in the edge of extinction so it, they should be protected because they are the original people of that place who follow the culture tradition practices of that area so it is compulsory or necessary to protect such type of people so the brazil government has taken so many steps to protect this tribe this group of tribes now their life how they live now the life of amazonians today so this is also a question answer which is very important which can be asked for your exam the first point is the native people of amazon rainforest still live in deep forest as they are coming in contact with the civilized people many of them have started wearing western clothes some of the tribals are making handicraft to sell to the tourist 
and the fourth one is the tribals of the amazon forest are presently at the forefront of conservation efforts even embracing the modern technology and new policy mechanism to safeguard their forest culture and traditions so that means still they started accepting so many new techniques new ideas new way of life and new clothes but still their original culture is still original so it is very important for them to protect that so they have taken take, they are taking so many measures to protect their forest protect their culture and their tradition so here we wind up our uh, so south america chapter so all the uh, um, videos are over now i'll upload one video of map study so it is important for you to see that and learn according to that so how it is asked like that you have to mark the map so here we'll wind up this uh, chapter learn properly and prepare for the exam thank you